Hey everyone, this is just a quick video covering the standard ban list that was announced for Japan yesterday. And I have to say, it's a pretty good ban list if this was for us, right? Like, if we get this ban list now, uh, our format will instantly be in a better position. But let's just kind of talk about it briefly, right? So first off, Sturgena is limited to one. And then the choice restrict between uh, Valshaban and Elvira. So the Cycler and, you know, the draw card. Pretty good. Then they decided to unrestrict Swirler and GG choice restrict, as well as the Ava and Combine Rusher uh, choice restrict as well. There was no changes for V and no changes to P or Premium. And uh, th I think that's fine, right? Because Japan doesn't really play v, v Standard or V Premium or Premium or whatever, right? So obviously no hits there. Um, our ones will hopefully be different. Uh, but let's kind of quickly talk about why this ban list is good for English and not good for Japan. Well, uh, in Japan, we have a new uh, set coming out, set 13 coming out, that is releasing a bunch of good good cards, like, uh, you know, the new, uh, what was it, Leonorn, right? Looks pretty busted. Everyone's saying the new Dredgeald looks pretty busted as well. Uh, not much about, you know, Youthberg, maybe. Probably not, but, <laughs> but yeah. Like, we have two really strong decks already coming out that will probably just change the entire metagame. But we're getting a ban list to beat off the, well not really beat off, to get rid of like the top decks previous to that, to those to that set coming out. Um, so I don't know, it just feels like not great. We also have stuff like Token Rambu that's still around, and yeah, well at least in Japan, right? Uh, this pretty much nerfs, you know, the Willista deck pretty hard, I think, right? You have to choose between one of your draw engines. Do you want to draw in the beginning, or do you want to draw later? Right, you don't get infinite draws, your hand will likely suffer, like not be as much, uh, which is good, right? Because if you've played against, you know, the current format in English right now, you just play against a Willista player, they drop a bunch of cards, they have a bunch of cyclers in hands, their hand is like infinite, uh, and they just like bash you with like big numbers, right? So overall, this is, you know, pretty, I guess this is a correct hit. Uh, and then the Sturgeness 1 basically is just there to make the deck uh, like Gandiva less stable because Sturgeon is pretty much your only uh, kind of removal that binds stuff for free, right? It only requires soul and it binds two instead of one. So it speeds up your deck pretty quickly. By hitting this to one, it lowers the stability of the deck. If you draw that one copy short, that's great, but you won't draw any more. Um, but it's, it, I think it's, I think it's fine, right? If you've played against Gandiva, you know, sometimes you do miss the five uh, the five bind on your first grade three turn, and it sucks, right? It's not, it's like not the best, but it's not like it's the end of the world. So it kind of just pushes Gandiva at least to the same tier as maybe everything else, right? And I think, I think it's funny because in English, the Gandiva, you know, tops really haven't been shown that much. I think in maybe, I think some places we see like three Gandiva tops. Sometimes we don't see anything. The main thing that has been doing damage is literally Willista. Right, if you look at the recent Philippine tops, all Willista, uh, basically everything is Willista. There is Willista everywhere, right? Willista is basically everywhere. All the best players in English are at least picking Willista. Uh, you, you ask them a question, are you picking a Gandiva deck? They would say no, right? They are picking Willista. And a lot of this could be many things, right? It could be, you know, the tournament structures are different in the global metagame, right? We play it way more. Uh, games where Willista will show better, of course, because it draws cards. It just draws way more cards. It does a lot more things. Gandiva is more like a one-track deck, right? If it does this one thing, it does it good. If it doesn't do that, well, no matter how good you are, you are not recovering from that. But with Willista, it does. Uh, it, it it's consistent, right? It hits big. It you know, hits bigger. It rushes. It has a late game. It has a bunch of things. It has the full package. So if you're going to like a big round tournament. Right, eight rounds, then top cut, then you know, Wallista is probably a better pick for you. Right? And you need to do like better than X2. X2, you're on the edge. You're on the edge, basically praying for resistance. Now, if we were to port this into English, what would we take? So I actually like right now, right, this current format that we're seeing, if you go to locals, you play against a Wallista deck, you sigh. Because all you do is you go, Oh my god, it's this deck again. If he just does if he just rolls average, right? Uh, you, people say well list of bricks bro if they just roll even average their deck pops off insanely so i think if they bring this restriction this choice restrict into english i think that's perfect that'll be great what about sturgeon well you know if you know well list is hit maybe gandiva just pops up yeah i think a sturgeon hit will be fine right if you hit something like the best harvest i don't think anyone's playing that deck anymore but if you hit sturgeon 
they can still function, they still have cards that they can play, they still have a decent advantage engine and a removal engine. So you can still play it, it's just not that, like the absolute like like insane fast deck now, it's a slower deck. It will scale like slower, but it still does what it's built to do, and it still does get the advantage so you can survive at least a bit, right? So I think those two bands are those two choices are fine. You know, Sturgeon into one, and then the 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 Willista hit. Uh, furthermore, you know, Ava and Combine Rusher really didn't need to be hit at all, right? I think the English hit that they did recently was not great, right? They didn't take into account that there was a bunch of broken decks coming out uh, that would totally change the metagame. So they should just unrestrict this. This Combine Russia Ava should just be unrestricted. And the GG, the GG Courage at one, this one is a bit weird. I feel like if you're hitting like Sturgeon, maybe you just don't, you don't touch this one, right? Right now, I think Jet is doing fine in English. You, it's, you know, you don't get to run Sorlo with GG, but you still, you, you have like people running Zargons, people rushing with the deck, more people inventing new ways to play it. So if everything else gets nerfed a bit, then I think, you know, not porting this, this unrestrict will be fine and the format will be in a great place, right? After after set 11 comes out, well, set 11 is out, we have set 12, and set 12 brings a bunch of good decks as well, like Orphist. So, you know, the, the format will once again be shifted a bit. We got Bastion without the promo. That might make it pretty good. I don't want to say that, you know, uh, in Japan, they still have Bastion not hit with the promo. So, suddenly that deck becomes insanely strong, right? Because everything else got hit. Um, so I don't want to, I, I wouldn't want to be playing in the Japanese format right now. But with us, right, the set 12 comes, we have a Bastion that doesn't have the promo. Um, so I feel like the deck might be slightly better. You're playing a more inconsistent build of the deck. So that might be fine, right, trading in the high roll uh, for consistency. Uh, yeah, so overall, that that should be an interesting format. We won't have things like Wallista and Gandiva. Well, Gandiva gets a buff in set 12 as well. So I think that deck will just be fine. Uh, we just won't have, like, you know, the Willista just dominating everyone and making everyone feel bad, right? And, you know, Ava might get a chance to shine, right? You know, you have the new Ava. We never really got to see an action because, you know, your your worst matchup is a Willista and it's basically English format supreme. So, yeah, I think it just opens up the format a lot more and uh, it's the correct thing to do. Just roll it out quicker, right? What about the other formats? So, V Premium, I think nothing really needs to get hit. V Premium. Is surprisingly in a very good spot, albeit a very stale spot, yet everyone still brings like different decks in different regions and just does well. So V Premium actually is the most balanced format right now, which is crazy because we've been living in, you know, the uh, the Steam made in life for a while now. But yeah, so I think V Premium no hits is fine. And then in Premium, I think this will be a pretty hot take. I think the only thing they need to do is ban Matoa. Right, uh, Matoa is just a badly designed card. Anything that forces your opponent to draw will basically uh, just, you know, is a win condition in itself. I mean, well, Melista though hasn't been doing very well. Uh, it has been reaching the bubble though. It has been reaching the X2, and it's just a very uninteractive deck. The kind of mill engine. Um, so if you like choice restrict the Matoa with something else, something will come up in the future that will make it broken again. So you might as well just hit Matoa, get rid of the card from premium. Unfortunately, Ange lovers, life it, it sucks, but you know. Maybe they should just print a better card. <laughs> right? They should just, or, you know, they could errata it, but I really hate having erratas in the game uh, because, you know, if, you, if you've if you played with History Collection recently, you'll be going, wow, half these cards have <laughs> aren't printed the way they're supposed to be now, right? They've been updated, so yeah. So I don't really like erratas. I think they should just ban Matoa, and then, you know, in the future, they can print something that is like a fixed Matoa, would just be a better better way to do it. Otherwise, you know, there's everyone saying ban Gridora, right, or restrict it in some way. I really don't have, you know, anything to say about it. We saw a big Gridora showing in Toronto. Then the next week, we saw a huge Narukami showing to kill all the Gridoras. Then in, you know, uh, Europe, n no one topped with Gridora. And then the Philippines, I think no one topped with Gridora again, right? So, like, yeah, sure, you know, Gridora, you know, has its ups and downs. Personally, it's a very annoying card to face. I know a lot of people hate playing against it because it shuts down. Um, it's just a hard counter to a lot of decks. So a lot of people want to just see it gone. Uh, if they want to just hit maybe Ghidorah to like one or something like that, it's, that could be fine. You know, just to get just to get rid of that that grade four. The deck will pretty much just be dead, I think, <laughs> if they do that. Um, but then hopefully they can print more strides in the future for it. I don't think anyone 
is sad to see Mega Colony go, just like how they hated seeing Link Joker being meta, right? Because, you know, lock, interaction, yeah, blah, blah, blah. But I don't know, even if they don't hit Gridora, right, I don't really think, um, I wouldn't really care too much about it, because personally, I do think Premium is, like, still a Wild West right now. It's still very open. There's a lot of things that can top, right? So lots of lots of ideas going there. The only thing is just the Matoa that is very uninteractive. If you're on the receiving end of that deck, what do you do? You don't do anything. You watch your opponent just mill you out, and that's that, right? Even if there are, like, very specific counters for sp like, when using specific clans that can, like, you know, kind of kind of beat it yeah no it's 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 a future proofing issue as well right in the future lyrical stuff's coming out there'll be more ways to abuse the card let's just see it go right so that's my thoughts on the list they can bring you know they can just v premium don't touch it bad mentor for premium and then you know three just just do everything here except for the uh the swirler and the gg for standard and i think the four will be great all the formats will be really good so yeah all right cool that's it for me let me know in the comments below what you think and i'll see you all uh very soon, because we still got to talk about the results over the weekend, right? So, bye!